Hello everyone, Sun turned up to and welcome to a Fabric 1.14 mod loader tutorial. Uh, there isn't much covering this yet. Um, there's only in that like I think two videos or so covering Fabric as of the time of making this. So I thought I'd give it a go now that I've successfully found out how to install it myself. Yes, mostly in assistance with the other video that I've already watched. Um, besides my own experimenting and lack of success. So besides the instructions that I had read, I had no luck, but I've now come through and I'm assuming hopefully this should work. Um, the thing is though is when I watched their video, they did it the, uh, at least I'll show you, the copy and paste way here. I did the download because it worked better for me, but I'll try both and see in that which works for me this time. Um, but technically both should work, it shouldn't matter, because this will be the local one that will give you a folder, and this will just be, it just gives you a link to your clipboard that you can then paste to, um, right here, like so. Um, but yeah. Obviously the one thing to keep in mind is besides the mod loader here for the instance. Uh, there's the instructions here, like I just said. It's only available for multi MC at the moment. There is no vanilla one yet, which means if I wanted to do anything with it, I can't do the exact same like I did with the Twitch workaround unofficially, like I did with Rift. Um, but, oh well. Um, I might probably not even be able to do the same here. Anyways. Now I've got the links that I have here, which I technically came across from here at first. Uh, the mods to keep in consideration of would be Mod Menu, as well as maybe Silk API, because a few mods use that. But Mod Menu is a very important one, as well as, if I go here... Fabric should be here as well. Fabric is also there. Now don't get confused between Fabric API here as well as the Fabric mod loader. This is just a thing that all mods need to use. So it's a core, a library, an API, whatever you want to specify it as, even though it's clearly Fabric API. You need this in your mods folder for your Fabric mod loader instance. So keep that in mind. And mod menu is just a handy way of knowing what's installed, managing a few things, and the like. So I've got the links here that I've got on my new fabric discussion section, a link to the mods like so, and I'm going to copy, and I'm going to create, and I'm going to call this fabric 1.14 fabric 10 I guess, just for the sake of it, of keeping it easier to tell what I'm finding. I'm gonna do that, and if you wanted it locally you could browse there. I'll try the digital way, and if it does work, it does work. If it doesn't, then I'll try the um, local way and get that going. So, I'll just get my files actually. This be fine actually. Um, so these are the ones that I have tested that will work. Here's prior versions as well as a few that haven't worked for me yet. Um, for the new instance, I'll just get the newest version of Fabric. I'll get a bunch of other stuff that's easy to work out. I'll do game mode numbers, I guess, as a test for this. Uh, Silk so API, just for the sake of it. And that should be good, at least for testing for now. So, I'll go up, I'll go up again, I'll go up again. Go to Fabric 10, that hasn't loaded itself yet. I'll actually go into the instance here if that works itself out. Yep, that has. Good to know. I'll go here, I'll paste these in here for now. I'll load it up, see what happens. And yep, the rest of it keeps going. If you do notice a crash report, just ignore it, because it sort of happens the first time. Uh, it shouldn't happen any time after that, but it is possible. Oh, I didn't get a crash report this time. Interesting. Well, that's nice to know. Um, obviously the latest snapshot we're using for this. So, 
keep that in mind. So that plays an important part. And we've got it working! On my, my prior attempts, which struggled for whatever reason. So that works. Obviously you can tell the other mods I've tested do work. Um, a few have been patched since, obviously, so best to keep that in mind depending on which versions of things you have. Um, other than that, just these obvious ones like Fabric API as well as Mod Menu are definitely important. This is mostly just for knowing what's installed and configuring things. This one you need for every single mod. Um, certain other considerations, of course, and like reason APIs is obviously Silk API and Magic uh, Language Kotlin. Kotlin, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll go into the world. I'll just set this up briefly. Go Fabric Tutorial Test. And then we should be good to go. which it should be fine since I do know after prior attempts of this, but we'll just see how it does again for this tutorial for its first time. And not too bad. That's just state of mind though, but shouldn't be too bad. Obviously this is running on snapshots, so do be wary of things crashing. Um, most of the time when I've done crash reporting, it's mostly been stuff that's related to the snapshots um, or just compatibility of things with our mods so definitely be sure to report some things if you realize it. Um, I'd recommend the help section on the discord for fabric which which obviously would be this section here um, otherwise pretty much a brick project um, but yeah, I don't know the actual link, but if I do come across it, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, for the most part, these are the ones that I've definitely tested out. A few are quite interesting. A few recognizable ones, obviously, like Apple Skin, Not Enough Wands, um, Simple Teleporters are here. Uh, most of these are very, very good. Uh, one Probe even. Um, but yeah. But links to the minecraft.cursforge.com page will definitely be there with the filtering of the 1.14 snapshots since all mods for 1.14 use fabric unlike the case with 1.13 mods where a few like um, custom skin loader or TAF for 1.13 didn't use rift so you could get a bit unsure of that but uh, for 1.14, at the moment, all mods on that page all use Fabric, um, so you can't get lost. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.